Hey, this is Scotch Test Dummies. We got a special for you today. Special. New kind of tasting. We got a little caviar and whiskey. Caviar and whiskey. Let's test it. Test it! Trepidation. <laughs> All right, Bart is a little intimidated. What'd you say? Well, I've never had caviar. Okay, me neither. I, I understand. I thought you've had it before. Mm -mm. Oh, no. I assumed you you like try everything. No, well, I I I took a picture of the spoon the spoon in one of okay. these. I just and then I like the years spoon ago. On. No. Years ago, I figured you've been eating caviar. No, because you're a sushi eater. I love nothing yeah. against. I've had some sushi I like, and I've had some sushi. Mm -hmm. I don't. I've just I've never had the opportunity to eat caviar. Um, it's I try expensive. anything. It's highbrow. Yeah. And to me, it's eggs of a fish. Adventurous? No, it's no. not adventurous. I could go adventurous. <clears throat> it is adventurous food palate wise, but okay. for me, yes, I would say a slight amount of trepidation. A little bit more than when we had the habanero challenge, even. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so. See, no trepidation. I'll tell you. Well, let's do. Let's do the whiskey fabric here first. Yeah, and then let's get into the literally caviar. a whiskey fabric. Yes. So we're not kidding around. It's it's a fabric that has whiskey bottles on it. Mm -hmm. Intentionally netting the whiskey fabric concept, which is. Well, whiskey fabric is everybody that's into whiskey. I mean, whether it's whether you're a consumer, right, uh, a collector. A reviewer, a producer, blogger, producer, blender, whatever. You know, if you are interested in whiskey and you support your fellow right. whiskey mate, it's, it's knitting together. It's bringing everybody together. It's a, it's a knit. So Jeff Pickering started this whiskey fabric, and he sent it to I think Bubba and the Beard are the first ones to we have it. We should call him the Pick. The Pick got it. The pick sent this. <laughs> Bubba and the Beard. I'm not sure if anybody had it before. Did uh, wait? Maybe Rob had it. Whiskey in the Six? Yes. I can't tell. They've, they've yes. been signing Whiskey it. in the Six. Okay, Whiskey in the Six. Rob had it. He yeah. sent it to Bubba and the Beard. He sent it to us. We're going to sign it, and then we'll have it up here behind us on the set for a right. couple videos. And again, this is a, a bunch of like generic, not specific, but generic bottles. And then it was funny because uh, the Beard had a note in the package when I opened it. It said, this came with a cool note, and it came with a silver Sharpie. And Bubba lost those. So then he, he had a new the note. note. The yeah, he had a new note kind of telling me what the old note said. And then he said, get your own Sharpie. Hey, I want, don't sign by those guys. Let's find our own spot. Well, I get away from yeah. separate well, us from us. Go to the other here, side. Here, there you go. go. Like, yeah, yeah right, right in there. there somewhere. Hold on. I'm signing on this. What kind of and bottle we'll would that be? Scotch test it's almost like a Woodford Reserve bottle. That's, a square. That's not a Woodford Reserve. That looks know. like kind of the Hague Square uh, perfume. All right, so sign the <laughs> perfume. I signed a perfume. One. You just initialed it. Yes, that's sign. kind of what I do. Oh, okay. That's kind of what I do. That's that's my deal. Because I have the name Brunschine. It's German and it's long. Wow. You got. That's good. Look we're at gonna, that. And you're we're all gonna, over the black and everything. Yeah. We're going to oh where we are. He's taken over like five bottle section. Scotch <laughs> test. All dummies and then we signed down. so we signed underneath scotch test dummies Got basically it. that's good look at that and that you were smarter than me you actually shine this shine sign the silver on the black mine's right on the bottle hard to see yeah that's all i'm saying once again you've displayed a higher level of intelligence <laughs> so there you go we signed the whiskey fabric deal and this is going to travel around is my understanding we will send this to the scotch for dummies Ooh, there next you go. They are doing a whiskey, uh, not festival necessarily, kind of a whiskey show in Indianapolis uh, in October of 2017. Uh, that they're going to be at. So we'll send it to them so they have it for that. So they're actually doing that? Yeah. Well, they did it last year. Yeah. Hmm. they. Uh, it's kind of a distributor network type deal, I think. Well, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Well... We might have to look at going. They've invited us up. Wow. So I said, well, it's not out of the question. I don't know. Now, the accoutrements that have come with the caviar are neat. There's these like stone, pearlish the, looking spoons. They are called mother of pearls. Or mother of pearls. Spoons. Spoons. <laughs> I was wanting to say stone. Stone. But they are actually, I can't imagine they're from a pearl. 
no. maybe oyster shell. Huh. They're like a ceramic, a hard, and they were marked fragile, and I can see how they are fragile. Right. So anyway, let's back up. Travis Faircloth. Yes. Love is, the name, Faircloth. His, his username is Carolina Caviar. Got it. Now, he's a chef, and he works with, with Caviar Star and, and Caviar a lot in his cooking. Which is what's on this spoon. Yeah. Caviar Star. And, and it's on got my hat. The logo. He, sent, he sent me a hat, too. Ooh, I like the, it's like textured. <laughs> I've got but, the old straw cap. And, and Travis has sent, he's been a great supporter, and our Scotch God shout out is to him for yeah, basically producing this video. Because now he sent us samples of Glendronic in the past and a 42 year old Armagnac, which Bart has tasted, and his uh, quick hitter will be coming it up on that. It may be out already. The it quick could be. hitter may be out. Because... I'm going to take the rest of that sample right. and do my own quick hitter on it's it. Perfect. So we were going to use it during this tasting since Travis had sent it as well. Uh, we decided not to. Um, so Travis is Carolina Caviar. He works with uh, CaviarStar.com. Now they're going to provide. We are going to give you a coupon code to mm. use on the website. Description. Uh, We'll bring it, we'll do it at the end, but you'll oh. get a free, uh, I think it's a trout, um, one ounce trout caviar with any purchase. Wow. With the uh, coupon code. Ooh. Courtesy of the dummies. Bam. I like <laughs> it. So, uh, Travis had sat down and uh, he did a couple of pairings with some of the caviars. We'll go through each one. Um, the first one that we are going to do is Hackleback Kentucky Wild caviar mm. um, and we are going to pair it with dickel rye one of your favorites right i like the dickel now bart's not you bart <laughs> are you you're going to try the first one maybe and none after that i will definitely try the first one uh it's just not my wheelhouse maybe i'm i'm not low brow but maybe i'm only middle brow is there a middle brow and uh I'm not a big fish guy, just not, don't hate fish, oops, oh boy, Hold oh on. yeah, just give, yeah, just give us a little bit. Now, uh, Travis also recommends, or he says you can either eat the caviar before the whiskey or after the whiskey. I'm going to go before. They actually liked it after the whiskey. Really? But he said try it both ways. Okay. So, um, all of the caviar is... Um, like 3% sodium or salt. So it's a little salty. Mm. Um, the last one that they did will do with a uh, peated whiskey as well, which I'm is a smoked, a smoked trout. That's my reward. I can't Maybe. talk now. Reward. That's my reward at the end is is the uh, the Corey Vrecken Ardbeg. Although these are all good. The Spring Bank, your Edition 2. That is the Edition 2, right? Uh, three. Three. I brought the McAllen Sweet. Edition 3 to use. So, and really we stuck with whiskeys that you can find as well. We didn't want to use real limited, hard to find whiskeys. Sure. So we're using Dickel Rye, we're using Larceny, a, wheat, a weeded bourbon, Springbank 10, the McAllen, and Ardbeg uh, Corey Vrecken. And try the Larceny. It's actually quite reasonable. It's very affordable okay. bourbon. Um, so Hackleback, right? That's what we're on. Hackleback, Kentucky, Wild Caught, uh, caviar, not sturgeon. Um, caviar no, it is usually hackleback sturgeon? American sturgeon. Oh, so a hackleback is a sturgeon fish. Yep. Uh, this caviar is small and firm, with all the characteristics and tastes of the classic wild sturgeon. The pronounced flavor and glistening black eggs, with hints of emeralds and gold, make hackleback <laughs> our most popular domestic sturgeon caviar. Hmm. So let's try it now. Travis is a chef. In their tastings, the chefs put it on the web of their hand and eat from there. I look dirty. So, I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, now, here's the deal. This just isn't in my wheelhouse. So, I mean, no disrespect. I'm going to try it. Um, uh, I'm going to make sure that I don't, you know, like I said, this. I would never purchase this. Wow. I don't know if you can see it. I put some right there on oh, the web. They can see it between the thumb and finger. Right. And he said after the whiskey. Or let's try, well, I'll try it both ways. I'm going to eat the the caviar first. Hmm. Okay. Oh, That's nice, salty, like. uh, jelly. 
Mm. Mm. A little bit like a oil, fatty protein. That's not helping me when you say that. All right, here we go. Mm. Okay. I like it. That was actually pretty tasty. With a, now, did you have you tasted the dickle yet? Mm. Mm. Go right to the dickle. That was a good. That's a good matchup right there. Okay, so now I'm going to try it again with. I'll do a little whiskey first. All right, now hold on. That is interesting because you're right. It's mostly salty. Uh huh. I'm not sure I'm getting the underlying little bit of fish, but not bad. But then when I add in the dickle with the rye bite and the salt, it gives mm -hmm. a nice, interesting combined flavor. It was. Yeah. So, Faircloth, chef wise, well done on that. <laughs> okay. I give Bart a well done for being open minded. Trying to be open minded. Not in my <laughs> wheelhouse, but, but I'm open minded. Right. Now, still on the hackleback, I'm going to taste a little dickle rye first, have that on my palate, and then the caviar. Hmm. Mm. I'll try that. And since dickle rye is good too. Even better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Yeah, the dickle rye is good. Very affordable. Mm. Good too. I can see either way. Um, actually, I think I liked the caviar first, followed with just a sip of the whiskey, and bringing that flavor in over the caviar. Okay, yeah, for me, I'm with you. I like it the other way better. This way, mm -hmm. before, what I ended up getting was more of a salty dickle. Now I get more of a fishy flavor at the mm. end. Mm. I prefer this, the salty dickle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I uh, tweeted... Travis to ask him what the mother of pearl spoons were made of, mm. and he he replied it's uh, basically the linings of like oyster shells, mollusks, really, and and abalone and things like that. So yeah, wow, kind of the the that oyster shell fancy. itself. So we got five spoons, we got five caviars. We'll set that one aside. Also, he recommended keeping these on ice, so we have uh, five separate. Yeah, uh, well, we wanted to have a nice, keep pre it nice presentation and cool. with a little bit of crystal punch glasses. So the number two, we are going to go with the Siberian Uruguay, Uruguay farmed um, Siberian right here. Siberian caviar. All right, this is the Larceny. And we are doing Larceny bourbon with this one. Okay. All right. My trepidation has fled. I no longer... Here, the tasting. Uh, All right. Let's set our glasses. Right, mine's over here. The side. There you go. So, I'm not a, uh, the, getting over the idea of where the where they physically come from, which was affecting some of my thinking. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, I'll yeah. have to. I'll take pictures of each one, like opened up with the lid next with to that. it, right. next, just showing the right. the name and what it looks like. I think that's good. So again, with our code, we'll give it at the end of the video. You can go if any anything you any purchase. They'll include a one ounce uh, trout, and it's not. Uh, and he also pointed out that the trout and we've got paddlefish are called roe, not caviar. But he said you can call it caviar, but technically it's roe. Roe. R O E. So. Um, bourbon Larceny is a weeded bourbon. It's a little bit milder, a little bit sweeter. And we were pairing it with the Siberian. And I've got my notes here on it. Raised in a more wild and natural environment, the row from these farm-raised Siberian sturgeons does a better impression of wild Caspian Sea caviar than any caviar from a recirculated water farm. With firm beads and a sweet, velvety flavor that leaves a lasting impression on the palate, Siberian sturgeon caviar is sure to satisfy both the everyday epicure and the asp aspiring connoisseur. We should have the epicurean. Oh, uh, that is true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, new spoon. New spoon. Siberian. Should you switch the hand? Should we cleanse the hand or no? I mean, that's... Uh, now you're getting technical. Right. I think I may just eat it <laughs> off the spoon. Since Are you going to go back to that That's spoon? okay. I've probably had your germs in the past. And we do have whiskey, which we'll close. Oh, we got plastic spoons. 
No. He did throw in some little I'm, plastic. I'm spikes. digging these mother of pearl. I know. They are fancy. They're okay. fancy. Um, I'm going to do the Siberian row first. The, the little, what do they call them? The balls? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. How's it different? A little bit more saltier, but you still kind of get that fatty, proteiny, jelly. Mm. Almost more uh, f bite of fish taste. Oh, Lordy. That's not going to be in my alley, but okay. Hold on. Mm. Ah, this, is, this was a, a great pairing from, from Travis. Mm, the larceny really turns sweet with it. Now I'll do a little bit of the caviar oh. after the whiskey. Oh. You yeah. really get the wheat coming in? Yeah. The salt. Interesting. Now here's my deal with caviar. I know it's sought after. It's a delicacy. It's extremely expensive. Um... It, it's not like the biggest flavor profile, though. No. Not yet. I, I've seen it on little... You think there's going to be bigger flavor? Well, I think when he... And Travis recommended doing a peated with the smoked trout. It's a lot smokier and, and, yeah. and saltier. Right. I'm just saying, I've seen folks eat it on crackers and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and I know it's... I thought it was usually... This is me being dumb, but when I've seen it on the movie, isn't it usually like a red... I've always seen no, I've always like seen dark red. colored. Really? I think. Okay. Mm. I think there are some red ones though. Mm. I like that both ways, either before the whiskey or after the whiskey. Both good. It's it's a lot more mild flavor profile than what I thought. Did you do a second one? No. Are you gonna? Nope. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 not bad. I even tried to get the texture of the individual balls or eggs. They're well, they're very soft. I mean, you can kind of squash them with your right, tongue. exactly. That probably sounds very appetizing to people. Yeah. Watching. You take the fish egg and you squash it with your, your tongue. Your tongue. Hmm. Okay. Moving on number three, we are going to do spring bank tin with paddlefish Alabama wild caught eggs. Caviar. Paddlefish, paddlefish, paddlefish. American paddlefish. American paddlefish, also, also known as spoonbill, because of its duckbill-like snout, is a cartilaginous cousin mm -hmm. to the sturgeon. Sure you got that right. Our fine paddlefish roe, harvested from the Mississippi and White River systems, ranges in color from light green to dark steel gray, and is comparable to Caspian Sea Savruga, in flavor, a very fine yet less expensive alternative to true sturgeon caviar. So the American paddlefish, mm. right here, from Alabama. Roll Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. <laughs> curious if this is going to be green. Now Travis, dude, that's a little oh. bit lighter, more grayish it is. type color. Yeah, I see the steel gray that they're talking about. Travis did recommend having the seals cracked on these before we shot because they are pretty tight vacuum sealed jars. Mm. It's a glass jar also, they're, and these are one ounce containers. Yes. Very vacuum. It is. I'm sure it keeps it sealed. safe. I, I would imagine you do not want to grab on and eat bad caviar. <laughs> Probably Just imagining. not. Okay, so this is with the spring bank tin. Okay. I'm going to go... F which is very lightly peated. Yes. Yes, it Do is. Do not make the mistake of saying no, spring bank will, tin is not hear peated. It. Yeah. When, when we first tried it, I did not get the peat. I think I was expecting a peat explosion, which I didn't get. <laughs> and I said, I don't get the peat. And people were like, I don't get you. We got a I lot of hate mail. you, dummy. <laughs> We got a lot of hate mail. Hate There's mail, no I'm real saying. nose to it. I don't know why I'm trying to nose it. <laughs> Whiskey. Whiskey mm -hmm. does that to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of spark. Fishy taste. Ooh. Wow. Mm. I just got a very salty, very light peat with the spring bank. Mm. Really? I was, wow, it is peated. 
<laughs> Maybe the saltiness of the caviar brought that out. What do you think? That or maybe we've actually given the bottle some time to open up. and dies. Because you're right, um, I get a, I, get, uh, I mean, it's not a peat explosion, but I definitely get the peat in there. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Huh. But not something. So either the caviar brought it out or we've allowed it to oxidize and open. Now, the caviar, to me, tasted like the other caviars. I, have, I don't know that I've noticed a difference. I think the second one was a little bit more uh not pungent but just had a little bit more flavor to it this one is very similar i think to the flavors are so subtle i, I expected them to be some burst mm. of flavor and they're a lot more subtle and salty than i imagined mm -hmm. which makes sense if they're out in the ocean mm. um i'm i'm more intrigued by the way the pairing is because you're right i got a salty uh peat touch from yeah. the spring bank yeah which wasn't there before we'll have to try that again just on its own the the caviar or the roe is very wow. not very salty it's not as salty as i expected oh, no. there is a touch of saltiness to the to the caviar um i kind of expect it to be just to be that more salty i know i, I feel it? i just tried it without the caviar and i feel like i'm not getting the same amount of uh combination of peat hmm so you think the caviar helped bring mm -hmm. that out? I'm gonna go, I did not, I ate two where I did the caviar and then the whiskey. Now I'm gonna do the whiskey and then the caviar. That is interesting, let me try that again. Mm -hmm. Before the caviar, it becomes much more sweet. The I did not put does. the spoon back in there after it had been a moment. <laughs> hmm. I like that too. Let me, I like the caviar. I like it before the whiskey. I like it after the whiskey. It is doing things with the whiskey. It definitely is. I like it before. It kind of uh, vanilla it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely brings out That's interesting. more of the saltiness. Again, this did not touch after it was in my mouth. It didn't go back into the jar. And I, I say it brings out more of the saltiness in the whiskey, but it's more like the brine from the ocean in the whiskey. That, it's not necessarily just, I don't think, because the caviar or the salt mm, is on your palate. No, that's the most interesting pairing so far because I feel like it, they definitely complemented each other together. Mm -hmm. And I know that is where chefs <coughs> are amazing because that, to me, is exactly what I didn't expect. It, it actually made, to me, the whiskey even more... Mm -hmm. of, a, of a flavor taste. I think so. Now on to my favorite one in this batch, the McAllen Edition number three. Here, I'll let you pour that again. Right, As we've been doing, we're through. moving yep. on. We're going to use Ocetra Uruguay um, Caviar with our McAllen Edition number three. And I'm probably pronouncing Ocetra wrong. It's, <laughs> it's O-S-E-T-R-A Russian Sturgeon. Um, th this true Ocetra caviar is produced from the Caspian species of sturgeon. Mm. Um, and then they've got the uh, scientific name on here of that certain breed of fish. Good. This Russian sturgeon produces medium to large eggs with color ranging from vibrant gold to amber brown. As well as a delicately rich and nutty flavor, this amazing product is farm raised in pristine waters to produce an ecologically friendly, consistent quality and visually appealing caviar. And this is the Siberian? This is the Ocetra Russian. Oh. Right here. Got it. Product of Uruguay. 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 Hmm. These are the used spoons over here. Yeah, similar color to the others. Not black, a little bit lighter. Yeah, I thought it would be, I was anticipating golden. Like our whiskey. So again, the Macallan on the nose. Mm. Ooh, sweet vanilla. <laughs> and I'm going to go onto the hand here. I'm not going to contaminate the spoon. And caviar before the whiskey. I'm digging it before, mm -hmm. like a whiskey chaser. It's a little green. Mm. Oh yeah, I can see it on your hand. It is a little lighter. Um, again, the caviar very similar to the others, and maybe you're like whiskey. I suppose a, a newbie, a newbie to whiskey, 
has a hard time discerning different flavors. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, same with the caviar. I haven't had it before. Travis, I'm sure, can sit down and probably blind taste you and tell you which one is which. Mm -hmm. All pretty similar to me so far. The little balls are a little, a little stronger. Mm. It takes more squishing with the tongue, is what mm -hmm. you're saying? I'm going to try a little mm. whiskey. Wow. Again, it, it brines it up, but I'm also getting... I'm getting a toasted wood, almost a uh, almost a toasted wheat bread, which is something I don't think I've ever gotten from the number three. Yeah, I don't remember that in your notes. The mm. combination was. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, we know that whatever you're eating, drinking, and then mixing with your whiskey is going to have an effect. And it definitely is a, is a that was a pleasant mingling. Mm -hmm. I kind of liked what it did. It, it literally gave me a toasted, a strong, whole grain toasted wheat bread flavor. Hmm. Interesting. My favorite so far has been the spring bank with them. Yeah, yeah. And it makes me wonder what this Corey Brecken's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I like all the little accoutrements that go with it. Like the mother of pearl spoon. I broke out the little china uh, punch glasses. The little containers are neat. Oh, that one's a red Ooh, or orange. Wow, that is orange. The smoked trout caviar. Mm, you want to get rid of that or save your oh. uh, McKellen? I've save been that blending one. everything into. What? Uh, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a blend. Spring Bank, <clears throat> Diversity, and Dickel. Let's do. Give me a little water. Give me a little shot of water. Just a drink. Mm. Before all the heat. Okay. Cut that on there. I'll use that for the boogie. Just let me have a swig. Okay, swig it. Wow, this is kind of what I've always mm. pictured. This is what I've seen in a movie or something. I don't know if you can see it. And again, I'll take pictures of yeah, each one. But this one's is, definitely, this is yes. the different color-wise that we've got of the five. Right. Uh, orange. And they look a little bit say. bigger balls. Yeah, they do. They've got bigger balls. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got big balls? <laughs> I've got big balls. He's got big balls. Who's She's got big balls. Got the biggest but balls of all. The Sorry, I said, who's got the meat? Balls of them all. Huh. My balls are always... <laughs> I don't stop. Yeah, that's good. That'll probably get flagged by YouTube right. now. We, won't get, we yes. won't get revenue now on yes, this one. that's we'll right. We'll have to because, share Because, yeah, now we got to pay ACDC. That's been <laughs> happening lately. Oh. So, smoked trout caviar. Washington from Washington. And let me get the notes on that one. This vibrant orange, medium sized grains of our trout row exude a crisp, briny tang. Best enjoyed on a blenny or toast point with a dollop of creme fraiche. Or finish off any fish dish or salad with this visually appealing row. Our smoked trout roe is lightly salted and hickory smoked, leaving a lasting impression on the palate. Great for eating right off the spoon, adding flavor to sauces and topping fresh oysters or seafood dishes and whiskey. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh -oh. Mm. What? Uh -oh. oh. Make me nervous. Mm. This one looks the weirdest. Well, maybe. They're firmer. They're chewier. Oh. This is lighter. Than the others, really, mm -hmm. more almost like a vegetable type flavor. I'm dropping them. Hmm. We tried to get my ten year old to try some. He thought we were crazy. Hmm. 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 Wow, these are chewier. Nice. The consistency. Is not very good. <laughs> yeah, but the flavor. I think the flavor, that's my flavor profile of the five we've got here. That one stands out. And paired with the Ardbeg Oogie Doll, mm. 
Go ahead, just bring in a little bit of the peat now with it. Um, it was definitely the the, the trout caviar or mm. roe. Okay. Is Once a, again, the pairing's great. Yeah. The 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 trout roe is definitely more of a lighter, almost citrusy or vegetable type um, notes to it. I did not like the consistency of it. That's different. That's the most a, different. It was like I was popping little little BBs. Jelly balls. Yeah, jelly BB balls. And <laughs> some of them wouldn't pop. And I'm now, sure. what's interesting in the notes is it says these are medium-sized uh, yeah. eggs or balls. Um, I wonder what a large ball is. Okay, now I'm going to go Ooh. with it. <laughs> the Cory Vrecken's great, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to go with a little whiskey and then the caviar. Mm. Wow. I like the Vrecken. Yeah, the consistency here is not for me. Whoops, one got away. They are chewier. Yep. You actually have to chew them with your teeth, yes, not just squash them. Nope, can't squash the them your with your tongue. I like squash mm. them with my tongue. I think that's my favorite one, though. Really? Yeah. You want more of it? Later. I will take these home and eat them. Yes. Well, actually, though, I'm I'm sure most of the caviar has to be ate pretty mm. quickly. Eaten yeah. Pretty quickly. Yes. I bet you you're going to need to take oh, this home to your boys yeah. and just say, boys. Jackson, Jackson will try it. Really? My 17 year old mm -hmm. tries everything. Mm. Big I like fella. It. This was an awesome pairing, an awesome tasting. There's your blend. My blend? What do you mean, my blend? That's all the ones you didn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this was an awesome pairing, an awesome tasting. It is. Fair um, cloth, thank you. I've never tried this before. This is an experience. Part mm -hmm. of the thing of this show is to have different experiences. I did. So, um,. And to have such a wide variety of tastes is good. Even though I, I'm with you, I couldn't necessarily pick out the differences. Mm -hmm. I could tell that one was different. Yeah. To me, also the, the consistency yeah, of the, the eggs is key. Which is the one that they're Probably including. Not supposed to call it eggs. If you go to caviarstar, caviarstar.com, coupon code test it. Right, test it. Um, we'll get you a free one ounce trout. I don't know if it was the smoke trout or another trout. Mm, free. Um, go check it out and see with any purchase. So purchase something, uh, you get to get your free one ounce. Did you say free? Free. Free. <laughs> um, we were neglecting our Patreon We have, yeah. So what it happened? Was, it was brought up to us. It was, and that means we're way neglecting because here's the deal. You can go to patreon.com, search up Scotch Test Dummies, and you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can do a dollar a show. We usually do between 20, 10 and 12 shows. You can do anywhere in that realm, and you can cap it, whatever you want. But part of what we usually do is when we get a new Patreon supporter, Depending on the level, one, two, or three dollars you support at, we either mention your name. Uh, what is it? We uh, we say your name with like gusto. We shout it, or we shout it and you get a picture. Well, let's do what we're going to do today is our one dollar um, supporters, which you get a good. mention. That's right. You just get a mention. It's a it's a it's a, like a pleasant mention. Yeah. Without yelling it. Yep. And we haven't done that. Why? Because the twelve hours of boom. How many supporters came on that day alone? Like 13? Yeah, I was going to say 12 or 13. We got on July yeah. 8th and 9th from yep. the 12 hours of boom, and then, which, was, which we didn't expect. Right, and we were like a little spent. And then by yeah. the time we got to it, we've now had probably like 20-some supporters come on, so we're way behind. Is that is that Ardbeg? That's Ardbeg. You can have that one. I'll finish off my McAllen. Okay, so let's go back to July 8th and 9th, and our apologies to our supporters. We were neglecting this portion of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, one dollar supporters since July 9th, Drinking Caveman. Ooh, the Drinking Caveman. Yep. I love that. Good name too. Um, we have done some unique uh, shows just for Patreon supporters. That's something they get a little extra. Mm -hmm. So they have gotten that. Yeah. Um, um, and the Patreon coins. True. Once it's, they get to the $100 yeah, you mark. you hit the $100 mark or above, there's some little bonus caveat things you get. Whiskey Rover. The Rover. Uh, Jason, I think it's Julian. Jason Julian. It's like a double first name. You can't beat that. From Scotland. Mm. Um, it should be like Jason, Julian, Eric. <laughs> One person. Eric. 
Uh, Monty yeah. Wizen Hunt. Where's it? Monty in Texas. Love the Monty. Thank you. Bird Dog. Bird Dog. That's all I know. Bird Dog. That's know. all it's got here. We even had somebody win, a couple people win something. Actually, it's Michael. I know that. We'll okay. hold off from his last name in case yes. he doesn't want that out there mm -hmm. since he didn't include it. That's what I thought. Bird Dog, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, won something, but he hasn't gotten with us. Get with us, Bird Dog. Whiskey Jason Ooh. from Germany, who we had on oh, the live stream. Yeah. Very knowledgeable. And sent us some. Well, nope. Mm. Yep. He arranged for us arranged. to get some German Well, he was whiskeys. in country. Yeah. He was and in then country. And then he arranged right. for us to get some He's German He's a friendly whiskeys. friend, and, <laughs> and he arranged. So that was it for the $1 supporters. Right. Now, we've lost one or two. A couple have upped their uh, pledges. So they and came in at a dollar and just in. kind of putting their toe in the water, and then they're like, these guys are so good, I'm giving them more. Yeah. That would happen. Well, I'm just looking. We've got a $3 supporter. We've Ooh, got yeah. a $2 supporter, $2, $3, all from the 8th. Wow. So we'll need to come back. We just did the one dollar supporters. Right. So we'll then we'll do another one where due. we're yelling. Yes. And then the, the last one we need photos from. That's Got right. it. All right. Well, this was interesting. So again, fair cloth. Thank you, Chef Genius. Um, anybody that wants to get these, you can look in the description, and you're going to get that free trout. Yep. Um, Go to caviarstar.com. Uh, caviar uh, coupon code test it. Looking at your hat. Yep. And right. thank you to Travis. And scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.